Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to create a calculated field inside a pivot table. First, we'll create a pivot table quickly. I assume you already know how to create a pivot table. If not, please refer to the previous episodes. And uh, here I have a table, the usual table of a bunch of universities, uh, the states they belong to, whether they're public or private and other numerical information. Now click anywhere inside this table, insert pivot table and make sure the pivot table data range includes your entire table. If not, click this button to select the data range. Ensure that your pivot table is saved in a new worksheet. Click OK. Excel will then create a new worksheet for you and inside that worksheet it will create a new pivot table for a template with a bunch of fields that you can select. We'll quickly select um, the state field as row labels and public or private as column labels. We will then select full-time undergraduate students as values here and we will need to modify this from count to sum. Count refers to the number of universities whereas sum refers to the uh, total number of full-time students enrolled. So click on this button here and value field settings and choose sum and OK. And now you have the total number of uh, uh, full-time students enrolled in public universities which is number one or private universities number two in various states such as Alaska, Alabama and so on. Now this is the basic pivot table. Now how do you add a formula or a calculated field to this uh, pivot table? A calculated field is a value that is calculated from other fields located in this list here. To add a calculated field, make sure you're in the pivot table worksheet and click on the options tab and within that click calculations and you should see fields, items and sets. Okay. Now, if you do not see something like this inside calculations, it's probably because you have a wider you know, more expanded version of your spreadsheet. And if you have something like this, you can see how the various buttons, menu options in calculations show up in a different, more elaborate manner. So let me go back to my original setting. So uh, click on under calculations, find your fields, items and sets. Click that and check calculated field. When you select it, you'll be prompted to give a field name. Now what we'll do is uh, create a um, field that calculates a percentage of students enrolled in full time. So let's just say uh, percentage full time students. Okay. And here we have to enter the formula. By default, you have an equals zero. Delete the zero and scroll down here and insert full-time undergraduate divided by within parenthesis again full-time undergraduate plus part-time undergraduate and click OK and now you have the full-time undergraduate as a fraction of the total number of students undergraduate students enrolled in each state now the next task is to display this field as a percentage and to do that you should go back to um, let me just rearrange this a little bit you should go back to the values field here as you can see this is the field that refers to sum of percentage full-time undergraduate students which is this here um, so click on the drop down here value field settings and number format and uh, you should just change it to percentage and let's say you just want one decimal place instead of two click OK and OK and now you have a percentage so each percentage here refers to for example the total percentage of students that are in the full-time program as opposed to the full-time and part-time programs put together for public universities and for private universities in each of the different states. So that is how you can insert 
any kind of calculated field inside your pivot table. So um, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Check out more videos on codable.com.